Okay, so here I'm at the terminal. I've just started the PC off, so um, hopefully, yep, yeah, there we go. We've got a, an image. I'll just wait for it to initialize the BIOS, and we'll get a grub menu. There it is. There we've got our new LFS 8.2 64-bit at the top. I'll press Enter. And there's any luck here. We've got the kernel booting. And yep, that looks good. We've got a successful boot. There's no errors. Uh, I'm going to log in now. And yep, we're in. So let's do a uname minus A. And you can see that we've got the hostname LFS 8.2, the new kernel 4.15.3, and the tagline that I put behind it. Um, and then it was built today. Um, let's look at the processor, CPU info, and you can see there's the same information as before, Core 2 Duo. Uh, I don't know if LS CPU works yet, if we've got that, yeah, it is working now, so that's been provided, I think it's by Core Utils, so it kind of summarises. The CPU info, so that's okay. Um, let's try doing links to LFS. Sorry, Pin Pro 200 um, LFS 1.0 2 underscore 1x dot x. No, it's not. Oh, it's two LFS, that's it. I have not typed it in that often. Yeah, that works okay. So obviously this is an unencrypted connection, but if I go into there, <coughs> and there's the book. So let me now try <coughs> a secure HTTPS connection. So Linux from scratch for org, this should work. Yes, it's gone in there. Uh, so it's connected correctly. Um, let me try and let's do read online. Uh, let's go to the LFS project first of all. And yeah, read online. And I want to read the stable. LFS there it is, yeah. Okay, so if I now go to um, packages or patches even, let's try downloading, for example, that that one there. Yeah, there's one already highlighted. So if I do D View temporary file that seems to have worked. Obviously, there's no um, carriage return characters, so that's fine. Um, let's now try wget and um, let's see if we can find a secure link to test. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'll try the HTTPS. So this is the website I was on to get the uh, links download. Um, but it didn't have the patches. But if, for example, I get the links MD5 sum, which is something I didn't download, and I can actually verify it, so... It's 
ftp2 dot os u o s l dot org forward slash pub forward slash b l f s forward slash eight dot two forward slash l forward slash links two dot eight dot eight rel dot two dot tar dot bz two dot md five sum so yeah that's fetched out without asking me or warning me that it couldn't um do it securely so if i do md5 sum uh let's go into sources and type in md5 sum minus c that file name okay it couldn't open that file that's in there for some reason Oh, because it's in BLFS, of course, so I need to change it to BLFS. There it is there, so let's redo that command. Yep, it's passed, so that's okay. I might as well move that file into here. So that's wget and links working. What I'm going to now do is SSH into the Pentium Pro 200. Obviously, it's the first time it's connected, so it's going to give me that warning. Um, in fact, I need to connect as kernel text. So, yes, obviously, I should check that's right, but it's only a local network, so it should be okay. And okay, so I'm in. And now I'm going to SSH back into this machine. Now I'm expecting this to fail because it's a different SSH instance. The key is going to be different, um, but let's try it anyway. So I need to SSH as root back to E7500. And yes, it's failed. Um, and it's actually told me that it's the um, fifth entry in known hosts. So what I can do is edit that. Fifth entry, you can see there's one there for the Pentium 233, the actual IP address, the P233 host name, the fully qualified domain name, that's number three. The Pentium 4 is number four, and you can see the E7500 is there. So if I just delete that, save that file, and reconnect type in the root password for this new machine and I'm back in so if I do you name minus a you can see I'm back in there and etc um, LFS release and is it LSB yes uh, and also I haven't put in my own name there let's change that now Okay, so that is that. So it's all working. Um, despite the errors I got, like I say, that might be to do with CLFS, it might be to do with the kernel, it might be a combination of both. Um, I say when it's compiling GPM in CLFS, I said at the time it picked out the wrong CPU, it tried to compile for K8, so that made me wary, but um, it probably didn't make any difference because. K8 was the original 64-bit processor, um, the AMD K8. Um, so there's little subtleties like that that may have caused a problem. Uh, if it was an issue for this, I'd probably end up recompiling um, from within the new environment to see recompiling uh, bin utils and I can't remember which other one it was now that I got a seg fault on. Um, and then just testing them again to see if that seg fault still exists. I wouldn't expect it to because it's it will be compiling with a completely different tool chain. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm happy it's a successful build. Um, 
and we've still got plenty of space left as well so you can see it's actually used just just a shade under four gig so at a push you probably could fit this in on a four gigabyte drive but that would be a really tight squeeze um, certainly the GS gcc compile would need would have needed more than the four gig available if you did you do it on a four gig disc um, but the final system as you can see it's just about crammed on there you wouldn't have much room to do much else in fact um, but yeah the eight gig was was fine so um, I've got one more build to do, which is um, to bring bring up to the latest version of Linux from scratch, which is currently 12.1. I was thinking about hanging on to do the next version, which I believe is going to be 12.2, but I'll be doing a, a proper normal LFS video for that, um, and I didn't want that to interfere with this project. So I'll be doing the build to 12.1 and finishing this this um, big project at that point so um, thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the videos and you found them useful give me a thumbs up on the videos if you enjoyed them and subscribe to my channel to find about more stuff that I do thanks for watching goodbye